Now, let's talk about the Final Four. Well, first off, let's talk about the Elite Eight, because big things happen. Now, before I get to the TV networks, and I know I make a stupid argument with it, but still, I have to talk about it. So, let's see, who played? On Saturday, we played... On Saturday, it was Kansas and Oklahoma. Or, it was Kansas and Oregon. Wait, Kansas and Villa. Villanova. Oregon and Oklahoma. Now, hmm. I thought... It was going to be Oklahoma and Kansas. You saw that re- triple overtime game. The one of the best games of all time. But, no. Yes, o- Oklahoma did their part. Oklahoma did their part. But... Dorothy, Dorothy, Dorothy. Hmm... She, mm, she couldn't give total. She couldn't give total up to the to the scarecrow and shoot some baskets. I mean, they were dumbass shots. What what else are you gonna do about it? Now, it uh, now Kansas overtime since two thousand twelve. That's four years right now. That's four years. Four years that they haven't been to the final four. They choke. They swallow something and they choke on it. Like the little kid, like the little kid at Pizza. They get that candy cane and then they choke on it. And then (laughs) now, why? Women, I, I, I've seen basketball teams choke, but I've never seen a. A team like Kansas choke on the st- on, on, on choke over and over and over. Really? We're making dumbass basketball moves that I, that Paul Thoreen would know how to do, and he does more than shoot the ball. I mean. Uh, shoot the ball. You're do- you're you're down six with thirty seconds to go. Whoop de do. You got you. Then you shoot in. It's a one point game with two seconds. You don't have any time left. And then they make some stupid ass. Then they make some stupid ass fucking ass play at the end of the game. At the middle of the court. They picked up their dribble. Don't. You want to win? Don't pick up your ball. Um, what next? Virginia. Oh, God. Now, this is a lesson. This is a very, very big lesson. Now, I know my friend's friend back at home, my father, told me. My father's going to tell me. Oh, you're a little too hard on him. Laughing out loud. But, I do make a po- I do make one point, I think. And I'm going to make it right now. Tony Bennett tries to be too much like his father. Oh, uh, yes. Yes. He does. And I mean it. He, he made the Final Four in 2000. He ran the same system as his father did in 2000 with the Badgers. The defense is... The defense is the same. Pack line defense. But... You screw up. You're going up against a 10 seed that wasn't even supposed to be in the NCAA tournament. Yes, Syracuse. And congratulations to Syracuse. I'll get to you in a minute. Virginia, you had this big lead in the second half. 
Why do we stop? Why do we stop not going inside? Huh? You did the first half. You you couldn't do it the second half? Nah, I know, I know, I know. They they tighten their defense up. Like the like they're supposed to. But this is this is what I have to say. If they're tightening their defense up, then you should tighten your offense up. Or whatever. The biggest thing is for Virginia is you choked again. And next year, they, there won't be a next year. Mm -mm. No. Oh, God. Um, so, Syracuse, my team of the week. Yeah, Syracuse. Jesus Christ. Anyway, I'm going to have to do it over again. But, Syracuse. You are the absolute lightning rod of this NCAA tournament. Of the century. I'm not kidding. Jim Beheim. 1980, 90, 2000, and 2000 teens. You all made it to the Final Four. In every decade. Wow. Wow. A 2-3 zone make it to the NCAA Tournament Final Four. Now, who do we have in the Final Four? Who do we have in the Final Four? We have Villanova versus Oklahoma. Please, I'm praying to everyone at Oklahoma to beat Villanova. Because Villanova is a very good team. But I see, I want to see Buddy win. I want to see Buddy go out with a bang and win on a Monday night. Now, what's the next game? Syracuse against North, Syracuse against North Carolina. Now, we didn't talk about the North Carolina Notre Dame game. Why? It was boring as hell. It was boring as hell. Now, to this game. Syracuse against North Carolina. Hmm. Notre Dame's gonna win. I mean, North Carolina's gonna win. It's gonna be North Carolina versus Oklahoma on Monday night. And who am I picking? Huh! Oklahoma! Yes, Oklahoma. So, my last minute. Now, you see, you know, you see this beautiful face? Yes, yes, I look like a dork. But this is my credit card. Yes, it's my student ID, but it's my credit card as well. I buy sh I buy junk with it, I buy school stuff with it. I put money into it. Now, when I was watching the NCAA tournament over the years, over the years, and even this year, they come to have more commercials than ever before. And the commercials are boring as, boring as shit. They're not the Super Bowl commercials. These are boring. These are bored out of your gourd minds. Mm-hmm. So, on this occasional national holiday in March called March Madness, yes, it's the national sports holiday, according to me, I have a commercial that should be aired. You see, and it'll cost me my money. I get that. But these commercials are so stupid, I can't even understand them. So... Let me think. What could sum up the NCAA tournament in me? 
when your cable goes out, you ask Dr. Smith, to, you ask Dr. Smith about your bracket. When you ask Dr. Smith about your bracket, he gives you the wrong facts. When he gives you the wrong facts, your bracket is busted. And when your bracket is busted, you lose everything. Don't let, don't let Austin Smith give wrong facts about your bracket. Get rid of cable and un upgrade to direct TV. See? That, that's a good commercial. It is. Please. Can we, can we have more basketball this weekend? Except for commercials? That's why I watch it. That's why I watch my holiday. Mm hmm. Yes. So, like I said, Oklahoma will win the national championship. Bye.